Hey, in this video we're going to discuss some basic linking techniques. Three basic linking techniques are to link to an external page, page outside of your website, an internal page, a page within your website, or to link to an email address. Those are the three basic ones. Now there are several more, but uh, we'll, we'll cover those in advanced videos. But um, for right now we're going to discuss those three. Now, on this particular page, I have some images, some fake text up here, and an email address right here. But um, So um, let's show you two techniques on how to link, regardless whether it's text or images. We're just going to click on the rows, so we're going to choose that rows to link, and you'll see the handlebar show up. Now we can come up here to the link tab at the top, which is the easiest way to do this, or if you must, you can right click, scroll down to the object properties, and with the object properties uh, uh, palette open up, we can click on link, and it shows us the same thing as this link up here will do. So we're just going to close this out for right now. We're just going to use this link button up here at the top. It's the easiest way to do it, and I think you'll find it um, more conducive to uh, to work with you. So the rose is highlighted. We click on the link, and we're by default it's going to be external web address, which is fine for right now. That's what we're going to go for. So let's link this rose out to an external website. So let's just choose Google as an example. So www.google.com. Okay. So we have it linking to an external web address. The web address is http colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. Okay. And we're going to say OK. And let's preview this in a web browser. So we're going to hit F5. It'll take a second to open up in the web browser. Okay. Now we have the two objects here. We have the keys here, and as you'll notice, if I hover above the keys, all I have is an arrow cursor, which is my normal normal cursor. Now I want you to pay attention right down here to the lower left-hand corner of my screen. When I hover over the rows, the cursor changes to a hand, and you see the www.google.com. That means it is accurately hyperlinked. Okay, so let's go back to WYSIWYG. Now, we can also highlight these keys. We'll go up here to link, and we're going to link to an internal page, a page within the project, which we don't really have this project built out, but from the site manager over here, you'll see that I do have an index page, and we're playing on page one right here, which just is a page I created to, to work with this video, but page in this project select and we're going to click the index okay and then okay now these keys are hyperlinked to that index page all right so let's 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 play with some text we click on the text we selected it by clicking once clicking on it twice we go into edit mode now the fun thing about text is we can hyperlink all this text, a word of the text, even just one letter of the text. But let's just say we want to highlight this portion right here. We can highlight, highlight it, click on link, and once again, we have the option of several different options, but uh, external, internal, email, blah, blah, blah. And that's how you would hyperlink text within a site. Like I said, we could do a, a full word, uh, a letter, or for, for that matter, we can highlight the whole paragraph and link it. Let me, let me show you what it's gonna look like though if we hyperlink something. Let's uh, hyperlink this. We're going to go link. 
uh, page of the project, select, we'll index. Okay, and then we're going to do F5. Okay, F5. And as you'll see, that changed to a hyperlink. Okay. Let's go back to WYSIWYG. Show you one more thing. Down here, uh, you want to hyperlink to an email. Like I have email support at this address. Now, if you actually highlight this email address, we can link it to email which will bring up the mail to form and then we would type in whatever email address we wanted to hyperlink to click OK and then let's preview this in F5 and you'll see that that is hyperlinked. Now if this is properly set up with an accurate email address if they clicked on this is what would happen is their default email application would open up and that email address would automatically be stuck into the mail to uh, box of their email address or the email program. So that's an easy way to um, help them be able to correspond with you as far as using an email link. But anyway, these are the three basic ways to link using the two most basic forms of uh, imagery and text. And I hope that made it a little bit clearer for you. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.